Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back so we are now starting the uh, new chapter so in in terms of your combined volume of your book well, it is i think chapter number 23 the national income accounting is chapter number 22 and this chapter wh which we are uh, now starting afresh this is i think chapter number 23 the title of this chapter is i think measuring cost of living measuring cost of living something like that okay exact title i can't remember anyway so what what is the target of this chapter here we are trying to capture how the cost of living is changing over time or over geographical location like that. So, it, it is to it uh, objective is to capture the relative position of overall price level cost of living means what right say suppose I have a family right. So, I have to maintain that family today tomorrow day after tomorrow also right and since price level may may not fix may not be fixed means what whatever the price level I am facing today it may not be tomorrow the same price level tomorrow may be certain commodities will be expensive little bit more expensive right. So, since price level will may, may change from one period to another perhaps say one particular month or uh, whatever amount of rice whatever amount of bread whatever amount of uh, milk that actual quantity of rice, quantity of bread, quantity of milk, quantity of cloth, different uh, goods and services what we are consuming, their quantities are not changing at all. See today I am per se uh, as an individual or my family per, uh, per week say 5 kg of rice we are consuming. The same family one uh, after one year also perhaps roughly that 5 kg of rice will consume unless unless the rice price be becomes very high uh, relative to say bread price and we are largely shifting our consumption habit from uh, rice based product to the uh, bread only ok. Then it may change otherwise usually ok our quantities of different food items different clothing items and so on will roughly remain fixed roughly some here and there little bit changes it happens. Okay. But you will see that if I see that what is the monthly expenditure of my family today and maybe after one month you will see that monthly expenditure has increased. That means what same amount of goods and services we are consuming only, but we have to spend more money from our pocket. My salary is not changing from this month to that month, it changes say once in 10 years or something like that. Okay. So, as if my cost of living has increased right if if uh, say total consumption expenditure this month for my family is 10000 rupees and next month it is 15000 rupees that means what so my cost of living of my family has expanded 50% right 10000 to 15000 rupees right so how we can capture that cost of living okay that is the target of this chapter and that is your title is measuring the cost of living okay now so, given the example uh, to, to make you understand by cost of living what I am referring, perhaps you got a sense that by this we are trying to capture how much price level has changes from one period to another or from relative position of the price levels in two different time points, maybe two different geographical location and so on. Okay. Because same or roughly same amount of quantity basket we are purchasing that 5 kg rice per week that may be 5 pounds of uh, bread per week may be 3 liter of milk per week something like that those we are roughly maintaining the same but total expenditure amount of money has expanded. So, how that can happen because price level has increased overall price level rice price has increased or all the foodstuffs all the cloth stuffs may be increased or maybe one price one commodities price falls and all others are increasing like that. But on an average or on a totality may for the major commodities that price level has increased only ok. So, in that way that is why the its implication is that total amount of money that is I have to spend which is going from my pocket to maintain my family that has expanded right. 
So, to measuring cost of living or target of this cost of living measurement is to capture how much overall price level has is changing. Now, suppose the question is suppose today's my family's expenditure is 10,000 rupees, tomorrow my family's expenditure is 15,000 rupees. So, this 10,000 to 15,000 this monetary value right, how it can change? It has because that expenditure we are reaching how? how much rice we are purchasing into per unit of rice what is the price plus how much bread we are purchasing into what is the price of per unit of bread and so on for all other commodities and services right so if total monetary value in this way aggregate okay if that is changing from one period to another definitely that change involves of two different aspects either quantities or price or both they are combination is reflected in this change in the total expenditure right. Now, if our target is to capture only the change in price ideally what we have to do? We have to keep our consumption basket fixed. So, suppose consumption basket fixed means what? What we are referring okay. consumption basket fixed means whatever uh, quantities of different commodities and services we were consuming last period, same quantities of the same each of those same com commodities we are consuming also today till expenditure was 10,000 to yesterday today is say 12,000. Then I can tell this increment is only due to in change in price and not in the quantity because entire quantity basket remains same same 5 kg of rice, same 5 pounds of bread, same 3 liters of milk and so on. Okay. So, I am keeping my consumption basket intact, same basket. So, I am questioning myself like this. I was purchasing in last yesterday some basket, some commodities or some quantities of different commodities at yesterday's price market price if same basket what was I was consuming or my family was consuming same quantity basket if I want to purchase from today's market what would be my expenditure. If that expenditure changes say last yesterday whatever expenditure today's expenditure is different this difference is because only because of change in price. Okay, whether all the stuff uh, price has changed or maybe two, two prices uh, remain in, intact and other prices change that is a different question, but that is because of only change in price that is for sure right. So, that is why when we are constructing or formulating any index number consumer price index, producer price index like GDP deflator also another kind of price index right. So, we have to fix the consumption basket associated consumption basket or associated production basket associated quantity basket in general intact fixed. Okay. So, and that is why this consumer price index CPI consumer price index right. This consumer price index you will see that in India okay, consumer price index say, I think ministry of labor or ministry of agriculture or labor or something some central government ministry who are responsible to release this consumer price index. Look sometimes back when GDP calculation national income accounting we are discussing you know, that we told that most be website right CSO central statistical office NSSO those kinds of organizations name we, we told that day in the most be website under the most be website those, those links are there. Even most be website if you look at their CPI consumer price index is there. All these different consumer price index, producers price index, GDP all those things different kinds of macroeconomics data are also available in Reserve Banks of India's website if you look at that does not mean that Reserve Bank of India is the responsible authority to release those data. Reserve Bank of India is uh, collecting those data from the respective releasing authority okay, official authority and producing them under the same umbrella under the same reserve bank india website 
so that researcher like me, you, it will be easy for us to visit one website to collect whole lot of different types of data, what I need. Okay. But that does not mean wherever the data is available, that does not mean that that is the responsible organization to release the data in India. So, in that way, CPI also, CPI consumer price index information, you will see that under the MOSPIS website, right, it is also available. But say consumer price index, it is given by a table, okay, and the bottom of that table you will see. Uh, this in figures are collected from so and so and so, like that it is written. That so and so organization, those are basically the responsible organization, officially uh, empowered organization or officially responsible organization who is supposed to release this CPI accounting and all those things. So, consumer price index they release. So, consumer price index in India, if you see, it is for different uh, uh, important cities of India, it is available. So, consumer price index for Bhopal, consumer price index for Chennai, consumer price index for Delhi, uh, consumer price index for say Bhubaneswar, Visakhapatnam, like that important cities, not necessarily always the capital city of different states. Of course, capital cities are there, beyond that some other cities also are there. Okay. So, consumer price index for different cities is also available there. Not only that, uh, three group of, uh, three categories are there, I am coming to the, those categories. Okay. So, when I am comparing say consumer price index for a particular, say these three categories are basically A L, U N M E and I W, three categories. So, three categories A L is basically agricultural laborers, A L, A L full form is agricultural laborers. So, mostly uh, labor force or working class who is, who live in rural areas that is why agricultural labor, so, agricultural activity mostly it is rural centric, no? that is why I am telling. Okay. IW is industrial workers, IW, industrial workers, industrial workers means it is mostly that working class people, but who mostly live in urban areas, urban or suburban areas, right, because industrial workers, right, and industries in India mostly confined in the urban areas, right. UNME, UNME's full, full form is urban non-manual employees, urban non-manual employees, urban means usually urban area, non-manual employees, those workers, those employees who are mostly uh, doing job Okay, or engaged in production activities using their ma non manual uh, labor power okay like me i am a professional i am a teacher okay i am teaching in a uh, government institute doctor okay uh, one doctor he is he is uh, um, doing some services okay and he is attached to either hospital Right. So, like that, these people are mostly whatever they are, whatever job they are doing, right, or what, what kind of production activity they are participated, uh, they are participating in, those production activities mostly not very uh, manual labor dependent kind of thing, rather more depends on uh, human or psychological labor, uh, like that. Okay. So, that is why that is another group, it is called urban non manual employees. So, those that group we are with that uh, urban areas people who are the mostly professionals, they they, uh, they belong to this group. So, why these three groups? When we told that consumer price index or whatever price index we are uh, calculating, we have to make that uh, commodity basket first fixed, that is why. So, usually on an average, agricultural laborer certain commodities are there in their commodity uh, consumption basket urban non manual employees they have also certain commodities are there in their consumption basket industrial workers they have certain commodities are there in their consumption basket when i am telling this it is not necessarily that agricultural laborers consumption basket and unme consumption basket are completely distinct maybe few elements are common in both few elements are not common in both Okay. So, some common, some non-common may be there. Like, say, agricultural laborers and industrial workers, both are the working class people. 
Okay, you can see that agricultural laborers, working class who live in the rural areas mostly, say newspaper, one essential item which may not be or which is not very frequently visible that in any rural agricultural laborer household, newspaper is a daily consumption uh, commodity okay, item, right. But industrial workers you go who works in industry, no? some newspaper may be different, different types of newspapers are available, no? this company's newspaper say Hindu, Times of India, Hindustan Times, so many different varieties of newspaper are there, right. Some or other, some local newspapers are also there, no? different states, their vernacular, whatever the language, right. Say in Tamil, Tamil Nadu, in Tamil language, so many newspapers, so many different newspapers are there. In say Andhra, uh, in Telugu language, so many like that. In respective state, whatever the they are uh, native language in those regional language, so many newspapers are there. So you will see that uh, industrial workers group, right? You if you randomly choose one industrial worker family, you will see that perhaps newspaper is an essential consumption item in their daily consumption basket. Okay. But rice perhaps this group, that group, even this group also everybody's uh, consumption basket, rice is an essential commodity. So, I am telling that in these classes when we are grouping them separately, different groups say AAL, UNME, IW like that, that group is basically on the basis of on an average what are the or on a totality what are the consumption items, elements. Okay within that group's consumption basket, okay. Representative agricultural laborer household, what are the elements in its consumption basket, like that, okay. So, since we have to fix the basket, that is why on the basis of that basket, we are clubbing in India, mostly clubbing in the three different categories. Now, suppose agricultural laborers, okay, or say UNME group, for UNME group, Consumer price index in Bhopal and UNME group consumer price index in say Chennai may be different, right. Same year, this 2020, uh, 2021 say October, this particular month, today is November, last month 2021, Bhopal say whatever the consumer price index of this UNME group, Chennai may be it is different, right. Delhi may be little bit different from both Bhopal, both Chennai, okay. So, this, this, this consumer price index is telling that how price, overall price level for that particular group, UNME group is different across different geographical location of the same country, okay. So, this uh, measuring cost of living through say consumer price index or some sort of that kind of price index when we are telling, mostly it is to capture the price level or relative position of the price level over time, one period to another. But that is not always the case, it may be over different spatial kind of thing, different space, different geographical location kind of thing also. What is the relative cost of living in Chennai vis a vis say Tirvanandapuram, like that, okay. So, that is also uh, things. Now, since to capture consumer price index, you have to fix the basket. So, what is the target? Target is basically so certain popular consumer price index are there, say last year's price index P E Y R E S, last year's price index. This is one consumer price index. Another called PASI P A A S C H E, passage price index. Okay, so these price index are uh, consumer price index and what is this last PR and PASI to, uh, to German statistician, okay. And they give these two formulas, okay. Last PR's PASI index, if I, if I write, you can understand what is the meaning of that. Last PR's PASI index is basically sigma P1 i q 0 i by sigma P0 i q 0 i into 100. This sigma over i running from 1 to n, i running from 1 to n. What is the n? N is the number of commodities in the basket, consumption basket. Suppose this is my consumption basket, there N different commodities are there, that is plagued by I. When I equals to 1, say rice, when I equals to 2, maybe bread, when I equals to 3, maybe milk, when I equals to 4, maybe petrol, when I equals to 5, maybe say cloth, like that, okay. This sigma notation, being an engineering student, I am sure that 
it is it is it is quite uh, you people all are familiar with this notation it is basically sum of so if you do p1 i mean p1 is basically the current period and p0 is basically the base period in that way see exactly the same way q1 is the quantity of the current period q0 is the quantity of the base period base period means suppose consumer price index we are considering uh, or calculating so price index relative to what base okay say maybe uh, 2015 is the base period okay so if i calculate that so it's basically so n different commodities are there so numerator is basically p11 q01 plus p12 q02 look at here one one the second one this first one is representing current period second one is representing that first commodity within the consumption basket here p1 means current period second con commodity in that way p1 n q 0 n if you expand the numerator thing denominator thing if you expand what it will be it will be basically p 0 1 q 0 1 when i i taking value 1 p 0 2 q 0 2 when i taking value 2 and so on p 0 n q 0 n when i taking value n n different commodities are there so in the numerator is what numerator is basically or or let me tell first denominator is denominator is basically whatever consumption basket or whatever quantity of different commodities or different elements in my consumption basket whatever quantity i was consuming in the last period or base period that is q01 is the quantity of the first commodity q02 is the quantity of the second commodity and so on q0 in the nth commodity is quantity right and p01 is the price of that commodity p02 is the price of that commodity and what are at which time period price zero period or base period price 2015 is our base year so what was the market price in 2015 that price we are considering now p1 say one current period is suppose 2020 2020 so what is the numerator so denominator is basically the expenditure of my entire consumption basket at the 2015 base period. What is the numerator? Look, the quantities remaining the same, each of the different commodities, quantities here q0 to q0 to q0 and q0 and q0 and q0. So, respective quantities are same. That means, I am keeping my consumption basket intact with the same quantities also of different commodities or different elements of the consumption basket right so numerator is telling that same consumption basket if i want to purchase today 2020 what could be my expenditure right look p1 n means what today's price nth commodities market price what is there in today but at that price if i want to consume or purchase that nth quantities uh, commodities last period or 2015 how much i was consuming say 5 kg i was consuming that 5 kg is q0 n so the question is denominator is basically actual consumption expenditure total monetary value of the consumption basket in 2015 or what is our base period and same basket if we want to purchase from today's market what could be my expenditure that is the numerator and that ratio is basically the ratio of two expenditure but since i am keeping the quantity basket intact that means if this ratio becomes greater than one or when this into 100 to make this in percentage form if i make into 100 then if this is greater than greater than 100 that i can tell that overall cost of living has expanded because last year's expenditure what was today's expenditure over the last year that ratio is more than one or more than 100 percent that means my consumption baskets expenditure what was i was to say last yesterday's or 2015 base period consumption basket expenditure was at the base period price expenditure was say 10,000 rupees today's expenditure the same basket if i could try to purchase from today's market price it is 15,000 
So, I can tell this expand or expansion of that or that uh, more amount of money I have to spend against my consumption that is because only to change in price because consumption basket I am keeping intact right. So, this kind of uh, so when we are constructing or formulating or giving a formula for a price index this is called last PR's price index this formula ok. So, exactly same way PASI also give another formula what is that PASI is telling that PASI price index is basically numerator sigma P 1 i Q 1 i by sigma P 0 i Q 1 i i running from as usual 1 to n i running from as usual 1 to n. So, you can understand now in the PASI's price index numerator is a real expenditure it is also a ratio of two expenditures numerator is the real expenditure what p1 i means period or current period whose price index you want to calculate and p0 i base period relative to which price today's price index you are going to calculate ok that base period price is p0 i ok. So, PASI is telling that you take the quantity basket of today. See when price level is changing from yesterday to today or base period to uh, current period right. We are also adjusting our consumption a little bit ok when if all other things in unchanged right. If rice price increases very high perhaps I will cut down the rice quantity consumption and I will try to substitute that by say maybe more bread and more other foodstuffs because vis a vis I am relative to under the satiris paribas condition rice price increases. That means, satiris paribas condition means what when rice price is increasing bread price not is not increasing in that way. Even if rice price also increasing bread price also increasing, but bread price is increasing rice price becomes double, but bread price did not be increase double maybe 20 percent increase. So, I will try to relatively perhaps consume more bread ok and less rice because rice becomes relatively more expensive ok. In that way we used to adjust. Now, the question is when we are reaching to the consumer price index by the ratio of two expenditure. So, to reach that expenditure which period consumption basket I should consider that is the question. Last pair is telling you consider the best period consumption basket, PASI is telling you consider the current period consumption basket. Okay. So, that is why passage formula current years consumption basket quantity is there. Last year's formula look, look at base period consumption basket was there q 0 i q 0 i 0 is uh, symbolic presentation of the base period and 1 is the symbolic presentation of the current period as we already clarified. So, that is why. Okay. So, in this case you can tell passage price index new monitor is a real expenditure what is the actual expenditure of my consumption basket today. Then here what is the denominator? Denominator is whatever my actual consumption basket with their respective quantities of each of the consumption element or consumable elements in my basket keeping their quantities also intact. Same basket if we want to purchase or I could purchase same basket at the last period or base period price what could be the total expenditure. So, this last year's price index numerator was an hypothetical expenditure that expenditure is not observed real life in real life because when price is changing quantity also is changing, but last year's index when you are reaching quantity you are using the numerator quantity is the base period quantity for the numerator. Denominator base period quantity as well as base period price, but here current period price but base period quantity. So, last year's price index numerator is an hypothetical expenditure. Base period basket if we if I could want to purchase today from today's market what could be the case right and this was a real expenditure. Alternatively passage case this is an hypothetical expenditure denominator is an hypothetical expenditure numerator is a real expenditure. Today's consumption basket when I am purchasing from today's market price what is the total expenditure. Here today's consumption basket if I could try to purchase that in my base period price level from the market what could be my expenditure that ratio. 
whatever now the to summarize whatever the last pair on passive since one case we are con considering the last period or base period consumption basket another case you are considering current period consumption basket but in the ratio of both numerator and denominator same conjunction basket you are keeping right that means that expenditure share what is it is capturing it is because of only price change because quantities you are keeping intact ok. So, that is why that is called cost of living index ok through this last year's price index passes price index the book we are following that this last year's terminology passes terminology these are not there this formula is not there. But this formula's counterpart is that it, it told it, it, it is mentioned in the book that you have to keep the basket intact and then you evaluate the valuation of that basket or total expenditure behind that basket at two different price level ok. So, basic message is there in the what is the formula is there in your book, but it is not telling that which formula is there in your book, but we are introducing in this context one is called last year's price index and another is called passes price index. Both are important, both are relevant you can consider any of them ok, but you have to understand what is the logic and uh, if you do say last year's price index, if we twist a bit, let me complete then your uh, quickly complete this, your understanding will be fine tuned. Actually, see suppose if in my consumption basket only one commodity is there. So, simply uh, today's price and tomorrow's price that ratio if I take that is enough, that is a price index. If this ratio is more than one, I can tell that today's price has expanded less than one today's price falls in that way I can tell. But the question is when the multiple no, not one commodity more commodities are there multiple amount of commodities are there in my basket my target is to capture overall price level how change overall means entire consumption baskets price level how change from one period to another how I will calculate. So, I have to so if I in my commodity basket two commodities are there for one commodity this is the case price ratio another commodity is P 1 2 by P 0 2 that is the price ratio. This is the price ratio or relative price of food this is the relative price of the cloth and this food and cloth two commodities are there in my basket. So, if I want to capture the overall price level for the entire basket from yesterday to today or base period to current period I have to take some sort of average of these two price levels price relatives right. How that level last year's price index if you it is basically by formula P 1 I Q 0 I by sigma P 0 I Q 0 I that we have introduced in the earlier slide I running from 1 to n I running from 1 to n I can I can I we can show that this is basically sigma I running from 1 to n P 1 I by P 0 I into P 0 i Q 0 i by sigma P 0 i Q 0 i i running from 1 to n. So, this is what this is basically this price relatives counterpart and you are taking sigma of all those price relatives. So, when I am telling that we are basically this last pair's price index can alternatively shown as this it is very easy you can manipulate on your own you can do that you just break this thing na you will understand that we are landing here. Although we when we are introducing the price index as if it is a ratio of two expenditure, but actually fundamental is this fundamental is this let me erase this right side ok. Since multiple commodities are there each of those items has different price relatives today's price over the uh, base period price. So, different price relatives. So, overall baskets how much price has expanded to capture that we have to take some sort of average of those relatives ok. That actually we are taking in the last year's price index. Similarly, passes price index also we can show exactly. It is an weighted arithmetic mean weighted arithmetic mean the formula you can see is clearly it is an weighted arithmetic mean. But what is the weight? Ith commodities price relative weighted arithmetic mean of what? Of price relatives Ith commodities price relative is given weight with the C 
share of the ith commodity in the consumption basket. Because P0i, Q0i is what? Ith commodity is how much total expenditure. And sigma P0i, Q0i is what? The end over i when you are taking sigma over i, entire consumption basket expenditure. So, suppose when i equals to 1 that is food, so this is your total consumption expenditure over only food. Similarly, when i equals to 2 that is suppose cloths, its counterpart total expenditure for cloth only and denominator is basically foods total expenditure plus cloths total expenditure plus petrols total expenditure all together. So, this ratio I can tell that share of expenditure of a particular commodity. So, ith commodities price relative is weighted by ith commodities expenditure share in the base period consumption basket. So, in that way last year's price index can be shown that uh, weighted arithmetic mean of price relatives ith commodities price relative is weighted by ith commodities expenditure share in the entire consumption basket of the base period when you are showing last year's price index. Exactly that way passive price index also we can show, but their weight will not be this kind of real weight, it will be hypothetical weight, but you can easily show that, but that is not our target. Our target is that what actually this price index is capturing price index is capturing uh, overall price level how changes from one period to another. When we are introducing as if uh, the formula is telling that as if it is a ratio of two expenditure, it is not, it is looking like a ratio of two expenditure, but actually in the background this kind of philosophical thing is there, multiple commodities are there, multiple elements are there. So, you are taking the price relatives, multiple price relatives you have. So, you are taking weighted arithmetic average of all those price relatives to reach the overall uh, increment or change of the price of the entire basket, not a single commodity, entire basket how much price changing from one period to another. Okay? With this let us stop here and we, we finish this chapter, chapter called measuring cost of living, the next class we will start the another new fresh chapter. Okay? Let us stop here.